You know, when I heard that there's a new Wimpy Kid book, I went straight on the bookstore and bought it. But this Wimpy Kid book, the humor is kind of getting old, and you'll get to know it in this review. Hello, fellow bookwesters! It is I, Aaron the Bookwester. Today, I have this still fun, but kind of getting old book, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Wrecking Ball, by Jeff Kinney, our dude, as always, and it is the 14th book of the long and humor humorous Wimpy Kid series. And let's get right on to it. Greg Heffley is, like always, the main character, and he and his fat and the Hefleys get an inheritance from a great, a ungreat aunt, a great aunt, and that inheritance is actually quite big, and they would be able to use the money to renovate their house. But when they start renovating, they find wasps, mice, and so many other little critters that that had been living inside their walls and has been making it their own world and therefore when the walls were torn those terrible critters swarmed out to claim the house meanwhile this part's kind of ridiculous manny had found some scraps of wood and had managed to make his own house and it's kind of ridiculous, but it's not like a tree house or a little fort. It's an actual house. And he actually had a little party with his friends in it. And if you look at the illustrations, you'll know how ridiculous it is because the house actually has windows. I mean, dude, man, he's like barely like six years old or four years or five years or six years old. I mean, those kind of people, they don't actually make civilized houses. Sure, they make houses out of Lego bricks, but it's kind of different, don't you think? And meanwhile, Greg, he's having a hard time because of these little pests and his old nightmares of there's a monster in the drain returning. And then a disaster. They can't build and renovate anymore because... The, the underground pipes ran to another their neighbor's property, and their neighbor won't let them build there. And so, Greg's, Greg's family had to cancel all these renovations, and the rest of the inheritance had to be spent to rebuild the house. Then, an absolute disaster. They decided they would move, and they found the perfect and the most Beautiful house. It's kind of predictable, isn't it? Greg the Hefleys, they never get a happy ending. Even though they think it's going to be happy for a couple seconds, reality comes through. You see, the day they were moving, the day they were getting all their stuff out of their house, well, the hot tub in the backyard was moved by the crane and it moved it over the house. And it turns out there was wasp's nest on the roof. And that those wasps attacked the person who was on the crane. And the person, and that dude, that worker, panicked and pushed the lever that was supposed to get the hot tub down from the crane. And the hot tub crashed through the roof and absolutely destroyed the Hefley home. And Greg, the final thing he says, and it's as sarcastic as always, uh, this is what he says. There's probably a lesson I should learn from this whole experience, like be happy with what you've got, or there's no place like home, or that sort of thing. But that's the kind of corny stuff they put in books for little kids. So here's the lesson I'm taking away from all this. Don't be late for an old lady's funeral, because believe me, she'll make you pay. And that is ironic, and mostly because the Hefleys had got 
gone to the wrong funeral for their great aunt and have been late for it too. So, this book is a sarcastic and a great humorous book by a wimp, but the humor, it's like, I, I, read this humor a hundred times over by the old Wimpy Kid books. Like, it is shown there is a lot of books in the series. And that old humor and that old sarcasm, it's kind of getting old. And the irony is kind of predictable too. So, if you are planning on buying this book, do it. But I'm warning you, it might not come up to your expectations. And like always, your bookquester, Aaron the bookquester.